Hello everyone, my Serang here. So I finished rank 15 with all shotguns. So yeah, now it's time to play some Endless. So I think the way I was going to do this up, do this was I was going to break it up into two videos where the first one would just be floor, the first 11 floors where I'm getting the cards. And then the rest of, or then the second video would be the actual Endless component. Um, yeah, and this is rank one because there's no rank modifiers. Uh, hmm. Neither of these, none of these are very exciting, and I don't want extra queen. So, yeah. Guess we're taking cannon fodder. But yeah, so. The first. 11 floors will be pretty easy. The only difficult part will be the actual endless. Look, rooks only have 5 health. Okay, anyway. Uh, so if we're lucky, we'll get cards. We'll, we'll get some really good late game cards. Like, this ruins card is really good because in late endless you're gonna have a whole bunch of extra pieces of every type so rooks so having a three health rook added will be a lot better than having a five health rook added oh whoops. okay i guess eventually it'll be four health rooks five health rooks because of the way Endless works. Alright, well, let's just get rid of everything. Okay. Alright, Royal Loafers is really good. Okay, now... Now all I need is, um... Sacred Crown, and I have, like, Sacred Crown with Royal Loafers, and Royal Loafers are both really good, and they also synergize pretty well. Um, okay, I would like a Queen card, but it doesn't look like it's going to be very easy to get right now. Well, now it is. We got him. Okay. Uh, so I'm having a bit of an ammo issue here. Right, well, I'm glad Rooks don't have very much health, otherwise I might be in a little danger there. Um, extra turns are great. Taunting Hop is much better when you have Royal Loafers. Um, Undercover Mission could be good if there's just like a really bad white card, or if I just want to reduce everything's health by one, but it gets harder and harder to reach the waypoint when there are more and more pieces on the board. So... Yeah, it's not actually great in Endless for that reason. Alright. Uh, let's see. I have Royal Loafers so I can do this. Um. Oh, you know what I can do? Yeah, I can do this. Wait, I, I need, uh, eh, whatever, it's fine. Wait, no, I wanna... Oh, Wand of Wings can jump over stuff. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh, right, the, the game tells me that, warns me that I'm in check. Because it doesn't realize the level's gonna end. Okay, I don't want Iron Maiden. Okay. So, later in Endless, in the Endless run, I'm gonna, it's, it'll be a little easier to uh, get value out of, out of Taunting Hop, which is pretty cool. Okay, I still don't want Iron Maiden. Oh, Pikeman is pretty nasty in the in late 
endless. So maybe I just take Iron Maiden. No. Because queens will get added every so often. Well, a queen will get added every so often. It's, it's not worth it. Alright. Um... Okay. So what am I even hoping to get? I'm not sure. Like, Sacred Crown, obviously, because it's really good. Um... I don't like removing so many pawns, but I guess with pikemen, removing pawns is good. Removing pawns and adding a rook is better when rooks have less health. And it does also reduce the total number of enemy pieces, because, um, so... Which will make the board less full at the beginning of late endless rounds. Alright. Okay. Yeah, and I can just do this now. Because it's the end of the round. Ooh. Oh, I want to take King's Shoulders as well. King's Shoulders is a fun card, and it also is really good. It can kill anything because because you can just chuck a piece off the side of the board. It's fun. Um, yeah, and it's also like a free action get out of jail free card potentially. I need two more bullets. Yeah, because the king got a little bit more health. Huh. Is two blade any good here? I have eight. Oh, I have eight firepower because of welcome gift. Oh, I have not gotten any straight up firepower upgrades. Maybe, maybe succubus is fine because I want extra. Oh, well, I want extra soul slots for both sacred crown and cannon fodder. Um. Like, Unholy Call is pretty neat, but it's hard to get to all the pentagrams. Like, you get bad pentagram RNG, and then, it, then it's kind of sad. So, yeah, I lost one firepower, but hopefully... Hopefully, having a little bit of blade and... And... Whoops, okay. And extra turns will make it worth it. Uh, you have- oh, that's at 3 health. Okay, so I can't just shoot it then. Um, okay. I don't know what to do here. Probably just wait a little bit. Okay, and... I would like to get rid of the rook. And the other rook. Oh, I could have gotten a free turn. That's all right. So I think, hmm, I think using like committing one of my soul slots to just repeatedly getting pawns might be a good strategy. Okay, one last card and. Well, I don't want Rooks to have four extra health. So I guess I'll take Undead Armies. Alright. 
Uh, yeah. I pranked myself a little bit. Uh, alright. We need... Hmm, what do I need to do? Well, I could just use a Queen Soul card to go right here. And a Pawn Soul card. Uh... I feel like somehow there was a way I could have done that better, but that's alright. So... Oh yeah, go here. And, oh. <laughs> like, oh, then I can go to the square that just got cleared out. No, there's a pawn there now. One thing I can do... Well, I, it looks like I'm just going to be using my Wand of Wings. I kind of want this um, pawn soul. Because maybe the the extra the, the damage will be kind of fun to use and useful. I don't know. There we go. Playing around our not, our imperfect accuracy just a little bit. Because we had enough damage to kill that piece anyway. Oh yeah, we can we can get an extra turn. Okay. Oh, I do want to stop these pawns from promoting, but then I can... Then I can just go after the king. Alright. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of part one. So, yeah, we're, we're going to start part two in a moment, and we'll see you then.